guys, so it's been a really long time. For those of you who aren't following me on Facebook or Twitter, let me just give you a quick update as to why it's been so long. Um, I've started full-time work as a teacher in a primary school uh, about three weeks ago, so it's been full on very, very hectic and um, I'm being challenged in many ways because it's my full first time going really professionally into, into a full-time position at a school and I'm no longer a student and the level of you know work and responsibility is so much greater than being a student and it's been really challenging um, but mostly I just haven't found time to um, to sit down and make a video as much as I wanted to so this is my really really belated Korean trip um, whole video and also I guess I'm just mixing in my favorites into this I've asked you guys on Facebook and Twitter what you would prefer and most of you said both so I'm just going to quickly show you guys all the makeup products that I bought in Korea um, excluding of course the gifts and stuff because I've already given it out to all my friends and family and also along the way I'll just add in which ones I like and don't really quickly um, so yeah, I hope you guys have been really well. I really missed you guys and um, I got to meet some of you guys in Korea and it was really lovely. So I'm thinking of doing a meetup in Sydney as well. Although I'm still contemplating where to do it because it's kind of difficult to find a good place to do meetups in Sydney. It's kind of, there aren't many good places to do it. But anyway, so let me show you guys what I bought. And of course, if you would like to see my Korean trip vlog, um, I went with Oppa and two other friends and had a really great time, even though it's freezing cold. Um, but I'm in the middle of editing those vlogs and it'll come up, it'll go up after this video. So watch out for them if you would like to see. So firstly, I bought this top and like accessories that I'm wearing in this video on my Korean trip but I'll probably do a separate video for jewelry and clothing and other beauty products um, and non-beauty products as well just so that this one can be completely just for makeup for those of you who, of you who are interested um, so let me begin Korean makeup is amazing it's cheap, it's really affordable they're really good quality I found so many great Korean products that are so much better in quality than you know compared to Australian or American drugstore products and even some high-end products and I found a couple of products that replaces some of my holy grail sort of everyday items that I've been using and ever since my Korean trip I've sort of decided not to buy any makeup um, like a lot of makeup in Australia unless I really need something because it's just not worth it and I'm just gonna save up for my next Korean trip and just buy my makeup in Korea so because it's so much more worth it and there's so much more variety um, the colors and everything just matches you know Asians much better than anyway anyway I won't go into that too much um, I have a time limit because I was waiting we have um, a house inspection to go to soon because we're thinking of moving again so i got to really race through these, so let me just quickly show you guys. Um, you all know that I love Clio and I bought a couple of Clio products. Firstly, there is um, this Clio Twist Up Waterproof Mascara. 18,000 won, so it's about Australian $15. Two of these Gel Espresso Waterproof Pencil Gel Liners. So this one is in Beige Shine number 1. Sorry if my voice is a bit croaky. I've been talking so much and my voice is sort of going. So this one is in This one's in number two gold shine I'm loving these because they're really good for just the inner tear duct and for highlighting the face and it stays on for a fairly decent amount of time and also let me show you guys really quickly what color this is This is my favorite color right now. It's the number one beige shine I don't know if it'll capture it but I'm using that as a highlight on my inner tea ducts every day. Sometimes it looks a bit gloopy, sometimes it doesn't. Um, but it's definitely some something really different compared to non-Asian makeup. It's got like this texture to it that adds um, a, a bit more cuteness to the highlighted look. And also it's really handy just because it's, it's one of those twist up ones. So I really like those. They're waterproof and they're just really candy for touch ups. I also got the waterproof clean lip and eye remover from Clio. This was Ban Samchonan, which is about ten to twelve dollars in Australian money. Um, really good quality, and it's one of those products where you just where you push your cotton bud on top, and it just comes out by pushing it. It's really good. Um, I'm glad I got one. I was worried about the weight. This was only about ten to twelve dollars in Australian money, and it works really well. So that's that. I also got. These, you guys know I love my Darkness False Lash Glue. 
Um, I got these two in the dark color this time. These ones are quite pricey in terms of Korean like comparison. They're Gucheonon, which is about eight nine dollars in Australian money. I love these. These are my favorite. This is my favorite brand of false lash glue, and you guys probably know. I'm pretty sure you guys also know I love Tony Moly and Vanilla Co. So I've bought a lot of products from there. Well, not a lot, but. Um, substantial amount. I got this Tony Moly Fresh Aqua Cooling 24 Eye Stick. Um, this was Yukchanan, so five dollars. Basically, looks like this, and um, I've kept the lid on top to keep it clean. Sorry if it's too bright. You twist it up and you just apply it over your eyes in the mornings before you put your eye cream or your makeup on, and it really cools your eyes. It feels like it's like a couple of degrees cooler than the air temperature and it, it helps to reduce swelling in the morning. Fantastic product and so cheap. It was really useful for when I was in Korea because it was freezing cold and the heater was on during the night time and it was like not good. But I do have to mention that my face is so super clear when I go to Korea. Whenever I go to Korea, my skin is beautiful. Even Uppas, it just clears up. So moisturized and no blemishes at all. And as soon as I touch down in Australia, I start getting pimples, my skin starts getting dry. And William and I think it's probably to do with the air humidity or the water. From Tony Molly, I also got these Laqua Glitters. I forgot. They were some chon on each, so $2 each. This one's a silver one, and this one's like a multicolored glitter. But it's got a red, red base to it, so it looks really nice on top of like this colored nail polish. That's that. Um, I felt like I bought a lot of things, but I think I might have left some in my cabinet somewhere. I might have to like update you guys on it later. Um, from Skin Food, I got this chocolate makes you more sweet and deep eye palette. It's the Choco Smoky eye palette, and this is the number one. Um, there were number two and three, and I just got this one because I thought it was something I would probably, if I liked it, I would use on a daily basis. They smell like chocolate, by the way. The black is an eyeliner. Also from Tony Molly, I only got one lipstick in Korea. I don't know why, but it um, doesn't matter. I got this Tony Molly Prestige um, lipstick in, in Crystal Lipstick. Huh? No, no, in number one, Muse Pink, sorry. This has been my favorite lipstick color for the past few weeks. And I use this in conjunction with this lip tint from Skin Food, which is amazing as well. I love lip tints and I do regret not buying more, but this is good enough. This is the Tomato Cool Jelly Tint and I use this on the inner part of my lips and then I line my outer lips with this or sometimes I just use this. And it's a beautiful pink color. I'll show you guys a swatch of it. Go. It's just like, um, well, if I have to compare it with something, it's like Mac Angel, but much prettier. It's got like an element of coral to it, and um, it's like a mix of like nude. Like it's like a mix between Mac Myth and Mac Angel, and it's much more moisturizing. Then from Vanilla Co, I got this Dr. Hyde concealer palette. And I got this because I think it was about thirteen dollars, which is really good. The quality is great. Um, Vanilla Co is kind of like Korean's copy of Benefit, but I find that like it's definitely cheaper than Benefit and the product quality is really good. So that's what it looks like. It's got two different shades. I got it because it's got um, a light concealer color and then this salmon color, which I always look for. I thought it could be a dupe for my um, Bobbi Brown Creamy Concealer in Sand, but it's like almost there, but not really. My Bobbi Brown concealer is definitely still my favorite. It's still really good though. Um, really fantastic coverage. I got this lip liner from Skin Food. I haven't opened it yet, so I can't show you guys a swatch of it. And these are what I bought as soon as I stepped out of the airport. So there was like a Skin Food little shop. And within the first 10 minutes, I bought these two products, which were, it was about $2, $1 each. They're matte. I also got these Easy Nail stickers from Skin Food. They were one or two dollars each. I got these nail art design wrapped stickers because you guys all know that I love my nail stickers. They just last longer and really easy. They don't take a long time to dry. 
from Vanilla Co. I bought this amazing product. It's called CC Whitening um, It Radiant Cream. Sorry, CC Whitening Moisturizing Con Color Control Base. It Radiant CC Cream, and it's got SPF 30 PA++. Um, the sales assistant was explaining how this is like the new BB cream, but it's it's formulated to be much more natural working together with your skin rather than like a layer of something on top of it. Um, there's a lot of science involved behind it, but it's kind of just like a moisturizer, but they've added a bit of coverage to it and some skin healing properties. It whitens your skin as well and it leaves it moisturized with SPF. It works to heal the skin and make your skin smoother, etc. It smells fantastic and I really wanted to buy one of these for my friends, but um, by the end of the trip, I'd run out of money so I couldn't and I'd already bought heaps of stuff for my friends. So that's that. This is my Skin Food Watery Berry Eye Cream because I wanted um, an eye cream that's a bit less heavier than the Hera Anti-Age one that I use. And this is like a water-based eye cream. Sorry if it's too bright. Um, I find it really good. I use it every morning, every night. It's really light and it does its job. It smells nice. Got a lot of product. Wasn't expensive. I bought a single eyeshadow from Etude. It's BR402 Cafe Mocha, which is Cafe Mocha. It's called Look at My Eyes Cafe. And I just bought it so that I can take it with me like on an everyday basis without having to carry a huge palette with me. Aren't those hearts so cute? I think this was like three or four dollars. Next, I bought this Peri Pera Feel So Good Cake Eyebrow Palette, which is amazing. This is one of my recommendations from Korea. Um, I bought one for my mother and my mother-in-law and my sister. So it comes with these two shades and it was Pechonon which is about $7 and the shades are really good, they're smooth, it comes with a fantastic brush. I'm using it on an everyday basis now on top of my wax just to smooth it out, fill it in. It's really natural, the shade's really nice for my friends and family that don't put much makeup on that are kind of anti-makeup. I recommended this to the girl who came with us to Korea as well. She doesn't like wearing makeup that much. So it was still okay for her because it's got, it's really natural looking. I think it's really universally flattering shades, except if you're really tanned. Um, from Skin Food, I got this wrinkle neck cream. It's grapeseed oil wrinkle neck cream. Not really for me, more for Oppa and um, maybe for me when I'm starting to get wrinkles. I got this Skin Food Black Sugar Mask, which is huge because I got a sample of it and I really liked it, so I bought this. I also got the Tony Molly Tomatox Massage White Pack. Sorry, Magic White Massage Pack. The packaging is super cute. It comes in this tomato case. <laughs> um, I haven't used it yet because I'm still using off my samples of it comes with this cute little scoop and I love using it to like cleanse my face, massage my face at the end of the day to wind down and my skin is really smooth and white afterwards. You guys all know I love my Hera sunscreen, the Sunmate Daily one, SPF 35. Um, I was going to stock up on that but I have one or two tubes of that and I thought I would try something different because there might be something better and I wanted to see if I could find something that I could recommend for you guys um, that you can access better. So I tried this Shiseido one. It's called Perfect UV Sunscreen, Anessa. And this one is SPF 50 plus, PA triple plus. It's waterproof, suitable for face and body. And it's give it, it gives long lasting 80 minute water immersion. The reason why I bought this, it was actually quite expensive. Um, sorry, I can't really remember the price of it, but it wasn't cheap. It was about maybe in the 40s, 50s, 60s, but it was duty free. So um, I got this because I tried it and it seemed like it was really fantastic. I've heard some good things about Shiseido sunscreens as well. So, um, and my mom has the powder one. I didn't really like that one very much, but I tried this on and it was really good. It was, it's like a water. Let me show you guys. It kind of just comes out really like runny, if you can see there. Oh, so white. <laughs> um, and it rubs on like like water, like um, kind of like a moisturizing toner. It kind of does feel a little bit oily, like slightly oily, but then afterwards it's just like silk. It feels like silk and it 
doesn't feel like anything really. It's so light and thin and it's got better coverage than the Hera one. This is 50 and the Hera one's 35. If you want to try the Hera one in 50, it's slightly thicker so I don't really like that one very much. But what I've been finding so far is this is actually a good product. I can't yet say which one I prefer because they're both really different. The Hera one's more of a really light mousse. This one's like a liquid. It really depends on your personal preference but I liked, I liked that um, it was higher coverage and because I'm going to be on duty and things like that, um, if you guys know teachers like during lunchtime, uh, as teachers you have to walk around the playground and um, I didn't want to get more sunspots than, than I have already so I needed something that's higher coverage because I don't have time to touch up during the day. So that's why I got it but I do recommend it so far. For those of you who are interested, go and try it out and let me know what you think of it. I also bought this Nature Republic Aloe Vera Soothing Gel. This was something that everyone talks about and my sister is actually the one that told me, asked me to get it because she's she heard that it's like $4 in Korea for a tub. Um, and I tried it and it's really amazing. A lot of people use it. Um, it's really light. It's, it's a fantastic all over moisturizer. You can use it for your face. It was one of the best selling, the best selling product at Nature Republic. It was in front, at the front of every shop that I went to. And um, I bought this in a pack of three for Mansachona. It also had a face mask in it. Um, Mansachonan is about $13. So really good. Look how huge it is. It's actually amazing. And because everything is so cheap in Korea compared to Australia anyway, I decided to stock up on some falsies. So Clio's falsies were Sachon on each. This is in number two, Club. Um, this one's in number two, Natural. This one's in number one, Natural. I really like these ones. The bands are really thin and they're really, really comfortable. So I actually really recommend them. This is number one natural as well, so I got another one of them. This is in number four urban, so it's kind of like thinner towards the middle and then heavier towards the edge. This was Samchonon, so this was like 3000 so $2. Isn't that so cheap? Okay, maybe to those in American Canada, you'll be like, that's not really that cheap, but to us it is. Because falsies in Australia, MAC ones cost about 28 I think. Um, they're, you can't get it for less than ten dollars unless they're really like cheap, sort of low end quality. Also got another one of those urban ones, so I got those. I also bought a Makeup Forever sunscreen pack, which I'll show you guys in a different video because it's not really Korean products. And along with that, I received these samples. Um, I think Korea is the only country that gives samples for like high end products like this. In Australia, you have to purchase like over seventy dollars to get a little bag full of these little products. So I got that and then this um, foundation. And also on my soul meetup, a couple of really, really lovely girls gave me gifts. For example, this Vanilla Co gift. Thank you guys so much, you're so sweet. This color fix glaze from Vanilla Co. I'll show you guys, it's called Jessica. So it's named after Jessica in Sonyoshide because she's the one that promotes Vanilla Co in Korea. And of course, I met up with the lovely Leah from Yellowy Cream. It was the first time that I've met her and she was so gorgeous. And she was so lovely to buy me some chocolate brownies that were really, really delicious. And this Holika Holika Aqua Jelly Petite BB Cream, which is my favorite product from Korea. So thank you so much, Leah. You guys all know that my Makeup Forever HD Foundation is my holy grail everyday foundation that I've been using for two, two years straight. Well, this has topped it. I don't use it anymore. I do use it sometimes, but I use this on a daily basis. So this is what it looks like. It's really light. Um, it's a very, very unique BB cream. And I heard that Michelle Fan has also recommended this in a video. The first time I tried it on, I was like, whoa, what is this? Let me show you guys. It's really light. What it does is it gives you, seriously, it gives you like uh, your skin but better look. William has said that um, my skin looks really nice with this. Every time I'm wearing it, he's like, wow, your skin looks really good today. And he told me that um, a lot of the time, sometimes my Makeup Forever HD foundation did look a little bit cakey, but this doesn't. And it makes your skin whiter in an appealing way. So for those of you who don't like looking whiter, this is like a whitening product that doesn't whiten, but it evens out your skin and it just gives you a glow. 
um, and it smells really nice, it's light, it's really really easy to put on. I actually use my Sigma F80 brush, I think, um, the uh, synthetic angled one. Um, and I can just apply it with my fingers, I can use the sponge that it comes in and it like goes on so quickly, um, very very fuss free and it's also got SPF in it as well. SPF 20. So I use these two together right now on a daily basis. Korea is crazy about giving samples. I had literally so many samples, I had to give it away to like everybody. Um, I still have put all my samples from Korea in this keep calm and carry on container. So these are like my remainder samples. I've been giving away heaps of samples to people. So I don't have much left. Um, Korea is really, really generous about it. I got this Benelico Clean It Zero sample, which I'm going to try for you guys and see if I like it to recommend to you guys as well. It looks like I bought so much. I think I do, but it didn't actually cost that much because it was all like three for two dollars each. So let me show you guys the rest of what I got. I also got this Etude House Panchak Numun Liner in number one. Um, it's one of those like tear duct liners. So I use that like on like the inner corners of my eyes like this. Don't know if you guys can see. Don't know if you guys can see that. Anyway, so that's that. And I also got this um, Skin Food Vita Talk lip gloss. These lip glosses are really, really good. They're amazing. Um, this one's in Mandarin Aid, and the reason why I think they're fantastic is because they have amazing pigmenta pigmentation, and they cover your entire lip color. Um, they smell good, have a really nice te texture about them, and they have such a range of colors, but I have to just choose one, so I got this which is kind of like an orange peach color. I got the Tony Moly Maxi Volume Force Mascara, which is actually really good as well. There's just so many products that I have to recommend and it makes them seem not so good because I'm recommending so many, but it's because a lot of them are really fantastic. And that is the reason why I'm not going to buy much makeup in Australia anymore. Um, one of my subbies from my meetup bought me this wonderful Nature Republic Natural Drop Facial Mist Forest Tears with a mask that I've already used, so thank you so much. I got this Style in Wrinkle Care um, hand cream from Clear Professional and it's, it's like the same quality as my L'Occitane, the 50% Shea Butter hand cream that I love, which is super duper expensive, like $50 in Australia. And also most of these masks were samples, but some of them I did buy as well. These are just like remainders of what I have, what I haven't used or what I haven't given away, because I've given away a lot. This was also a sample, the Skin Food Premium Eye Kit gift set. It comes with the three different eye creams. I got this Hydro Fitting Snail Mask Sheet from Skin Food um, in a pack of, there were four I think, and I've used it already. It's really cute. The snail thing is really a lot of, like a lot of people get turned off by it and I was really turned off by it too, but apparently it's really good. There's like snail apples and my sister uses it, she really likes it. I also got this Shimmer Mist from, from Vanilla Co, but I don't have it with me. I don't know where it's gone, so I'll show you guys next time. And lastly, I just bought this new makeup pouch. You guys all know that I was complaining about how ugly the makeup pouches in Australia are. Um, it's actually not true. There are a lot of nice ones around, but I decided to go to Korea and buy another one because they're cheaper and I like the designs. That's what it looks like. Got my makeup in it. I think that's that for my makeup from Korea. If you guys have any questions, please leave them below. I really have to shoot off now because we are late for our house inspection, but, um, but yeah, I hope you guys have been enjoying your what has been of 2013 so far. And I really look forward to spending another year with you guys. I'm going to have some meetups, a lot of exciting things to come, um, a couple of giveaways coming up as well, and also stay tuned for my Korean trip vlogs. I've also got last year's Christmas and New Year's Eve vlog that I haven't uploaded yet. Also, if you haven't already checked out Leah's channel from Yellowy Cream, um, please do. She's really gorgeous. She's got a lot of lovely looks um, that are really Korean inspired and um, she's a really lovely person. So I'll leave a link below in the info bar. Um, so I hope you guys have a great week and I'll see you guys soon. If you're not already following me on Facebook and Twitter, please do because that's where I, you know, stay in contact with you guys when I can't make videos, which is a lot of times. So take care and I'll see you guys soon. Bye. My mess of filming.